Hey guys and girls, so we're going to be unboxing the Elegoo Mercury Plus today. This is a wash and cure machine by Elegoo. Um, so I'm going to be using this with my Elegoo Mars. Um, I found that it's a bit of a problem uh, when there's not much sun, you know, British weather and all that. So just unboxing it now and this is the uh, the device as you can see it comes with a little uh, box of tools and bits that will go through and then you've got the actual <clears throat> box um, with the unit in. So let's have a look at what's in the box. So you've got the instruction manual. So a little set of um, Allen keys for maintenance. We've got the power unit and the kettle lead. Um, there's a bracket and the turn turntable itself. Just gonna open this now and have a look at it. So I watched a couple of like sort of reviews of this and it, it seems quite good. So um, it's been really nice to get my hands on it and see see how it works and um, whether it does speed up my uh, curing time. So at the moment I'm having to leave it out, leave my prints outside for for probably a good couple of hours in in what sun we're getting and the problem is they're still a little bit tacky at the end of it so when you're trying to get stuff sold through through etsy and meet your orders it's a little bit frustrating um so this retailed at about 115 pounds um it's quite a bit but i'm hoping to you know i will make that back through through sales so um that's not too bad so let's have a look so it's covered in a, a plastic film which has, has to come off um just to protect it during shipping obviously you've got the um sort of the uv filter yellow yellow uh, cover and that's got a film around it too so just removing that okay it's going to take the take the lid off and get the rest of the horrible plastic stuff off of it and there's some uh some sort of polythene in the top um which isn't isn't really needed so we'll get rid of that bubble wrap everywhere okay so it's got um a container that you sort of put your your cleaning fluid into um a little bit worried about that lid to be honest uh, if it's being used quite often i'm not sure how those hinges are going to hold up so i'd like to see if there's replacements for that you've got the wash cage that you can use and as you can see it's got the a little um, rotor on the bottom to spin the water around. The cage is quite nice um, if you want to use uh, the cage for your parts. Okay, so that's it pretty much unboxed. I'm going to fill the container with, I'm going to use isopropyl alcohol. I've got loads of that lying around at the moment. So that's what I'm going to go with. And I'm going to pretty much put put quite a lot in. I've got quite a large print to, to try and uh, clean. Um, so yeah, so this is you can get this off eBay now. Now sort of COVID sort of easing down a bit, um, it's a lot easier to get your hands on this at a, a good price. So if you're looking for IPA, check out eBay. Um, I know you can use like Mean Green, and I also use Grease Away sometimes. Um, but to be honest, IPA is still the best thing. So this is the the bracket you just attach to the um, Elegoo Mars print bed, um, and you can then use this to um, lower it into the, the liquid. I'm not sure I've got enough liquid in this actually. Um, so I will probably need to top that up. So we're gonna go ahead and put the the build plate in. And as you can see, it's not quite, it slips on, it goes on really well. It slips on really nicely, attaches to the um, to the, the rear of the machine. But as you can see, the IPA isn't quite covering the model. So I'm just gonna literally top that up a little bit to make sure that the whole model is covered. Um, don't go above the, obviously don't go above the max line. You don't want to go above that max line because then, you know, you can have some issues. I'm going to pop the UV cover on. Okay, and then we're going to get it plugged in and see if we get this powered up and see, see how it goes. So uh, once the power's turned on from the switch on the back, there's very simple operation two modes you've got wash or cure i'm going to make sure it's on the wash mode okay and then you simply hit the time button for however long you want it to clean for and that's it and then just hit start 
And you can see there the, the little motor at the bottom spinning up. Absolutely, um, absolutely fantastic. Quick, no issues here. And it's it's quite quiet, to be honest. I was expecting it to be a little bit more. And you can see the, the, the IPA moving around in there quite nicely. And if you've got it on for quite a while, so you've got it on for a minute or a minute, two minutes, it will reverse flow and flow the other way just to make sure that model gets really, really, um, really cleaned really, really well. So I've put this on for, I think I put it on for about a minute. So we'll let this, let this finish off. And the one thing I would say is that you do need to let your, your um, models air dry. Okay, so um, you can't just put them straight onto Cure. You do need to let them air dry. You will get sort of a white residue on your print and that's not very nice at all. Um, can affect your paint quality, especially if you're priming it. So do make sure you let your print air dry before curing. So we can see that's finished now. Um, so I'm just going to run it again and the reason for that is i want to make sure it's really clean so two minutes in total for this one um you know you can set it for, for as long as you want and just play about with it you know see what works for you um like i say i'm a little bit just being a little bit cautious on this because it is quite a large print um but yeah to be honest a minute will do for most models i would say um comment below how long are you how long do you usually like put it on to wash your models for i'd be really really curious about that um what have you found works best um because at the end of the day you want to get it right and you want to make sure that um all the all the all the leftover resin is off the model but again you don't want to leave it in ipa too long so i guess it's kind of a fine line really um to get that perfect wash uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really impressed with this. The, the sound, it's not overly noisy. It's quite, quite nice to be honest. You can see that I've actually topped it up a little bit more because I didn't quite get that bottom, bottom of the model submerged. And you've got to just watch and look at the level of your, uh, how you've set that bracket up to make sure it's either fully submerged in the model. I'm just taking it out now, letting the excess IPA drain off. Don't really want it going everywhere. And I've got a few um, air holes in this model. So obviously the IPA has gone straight into that in the inside of that model. But again, that's not a bad thing. It means that, the, you know, the resin on the inside is going to get hopefully washed out and come out with that IPA. So um, again, not a bad thing. So just draining off it. You can see all of that IPA coming out of the model back into that tank. Okay. And I foresee not having to clean that tank very often. I'm not going to... I'm not at the moment, I'm not, you know, I'm not going to filter that IPA just because it's had one model in. I'll leave it to build up a while. And I know that in some of the other reviews, there's been questions about whether you can use this machine to to actually cure the resin in your IPA and filter it out. So stay watching and we'll see what happens when we when we do that. So now the model's off, um, I'm going to let it air dry for a bit. OK, so the air drying's finished i'm just taking off the the top bracket so like i say you can use the elegoo mars build plate or the the metal basket so this is it this is the mando bus that i've just done and it's quite tacky the resin um isn't cured at all obviously should have gloves on um but i haven't so this is the little build turntable that you need to put on it's magnetic um i found this quite tricky to line up um, it's the one sort of downside I've found so far about the machine is getting that that lined up. Um, you just got the two little magnets either side and you just got to get them lined up to the holes and it should snap in place. So I was just being a bit um, a bit slow getting this getting this hooked on to be honest. Um, wasn't the easiest thing in the world to do, but there it goes. it's it's snapped on there and you can see that um, it turns quite nicely. So the idea of this is obviously you put the model, onto that build plate, put the lid on. The machine will not function without the lid on. Okay, just something to be aware. I don't know how it does it, whether it's weight based or sensor based. Um, I'm then gonna set it into the cure mode and just set the timer. And I've set that for sort of two minutes and then just hitting start and that's it away, it's curing. So you can see it moves quite slowly and um, that gives it time for it to work its magic. 
and for the lights to uh, cure the resin. So um, yeah, again, not very noisy at all. Um, it's quite quite a quiet machine. Uh, there is a fan that goes as well. You can hear the fan, um, which is it's a little bit loud, but it's not as loud as some of the things. It's not as loud as the actual, say, FDM, say, Creality printers or anything like that. So um, yeah, quite cool the way it, it sort of works. So just... Um, so and the reason I went for the the Mercury Plus rather than just a, a bog standard light in a box, you know, you could you can do some DIY stuff here, um, but for me, I just wanted. Oh, it looks nice. It looked looked like it would do the job. Um, you know, pretty good quality. So that's really why I went for it. If you're on a budget, then you probably could get away with um, one of the DIY versions. You know, a twenty twenty seven pound uh, UV light off of um, Amazon or eBay. Um, into a box with a little battery operated turntable would probably do the same job but you're not going to get the the key clean ultrasonic cleaning side of things um so just just it's about budget you know if you can if you can afford the elegy mercury plus and you want to add to your you know your printing equipment then yeah i think it's quite a nice little device um but we've all been there. We've all been on low budgets before. Definitely, you know, I've experienced that. So it is a case of go for what you can afford. Um, if you want to treat yourself, you know, maybe ask for it for a birthday or Christmas present, then that's another way to go. But it seems quite good. So let's let this finish off. Um, not long to go now, a couple of seconds, and then we'll take a look. Okay, so just gonna take that lid off and then we're gonna see how well it's cured. And I'm really impressed, you know, that it is cured, it's not tacky at all, super, super dry um, and really, really nice. The only thing I have noticed obviously is the base is not cured and that's because it was face down on that build plate. So what you can do is you can just pop it back in Give it a minute, you know, 30 seconds to a minute just to just to cure off that base. And you got to play about with your curing times. If you over cure, you know, you are going to get a little bit of an off color. Um, so do play around to get that that perfect timing. Comment below and let us know what timings you found work well or any comments you've got on the actual device. You know, I will try to respond to every single comment. And, you know, it's really good to hear from hear from subscribers to know one if the video is any any use and if you're getting any um, help from it but two just to get your opinions you know I'm really really keen to to find out what other creators are, are doing and how they're using this equipment so yeah that's it just another quick quick turn just to make sure it's done a full rotation um, it's only really that base that I want to cure but just making sure we go around all the edges and it gets all the cracks um, and all the sort of the, the deep lines cured is, is uh, well, it can't be bad, can it? So that's um, that's almost done. Okay, there we go. Okay, so it automatically switches off. Just un unlit it, and then there you go. One cured, cured Mandalorian bust. Yeah, I find the they see the bust is a little bit water. That's just I've had an issue with um, some of the resin I've been using, but I'm working on that. So, but that that will paint up really, really nice, um, and should look pretty good on display. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a painting tutorial on that. Okay, so this is uh, some really contaminated IPA that I've got sat in a bowl. So it's, it's the old way I was cleaning models. Um, so I'm going to put this into the, the cure station and I'm going to cure it for a little bit. Not too long. We'll start put it on three minutes and I might stop it, stop it after a bit and just see what's going on. So the idea of this is um, normally I would put this out in the sun um, a few hours later, come back and the, the resin would be solid in the bottom and you could just pour off the IPA and you could reuse that for cleaning. Now, I don't know if this is going to, going to work the same, but I'm certainly interested to see um what happens so 
running it for like i say three minutes we'll probably stop it after maybe two and just see what's going on um so obviously ipa ipa isn't the cheapest stuff and if you can get a few uses out of it all the better so if we can find a way to to speed up the um the cleaning of the ipa then that's a good thing um so what's everyone printing at the moment i've got a few projects on the go from sanex or malix 3d design um got some stuff from hex 3d patron that i'm printing the t800 t800 base uh and, and diorama um and some bits and pieces so some cool stuff going on there um i'll try and i might try and do some painting tutorials to be honest i know a couple of people asked me about um my how i paint stuff uh they've been following me on instagram which is uh, at ahc me uk if you want to check that out um and let me know if you do want a couple of painting tutorials i'm quite happy to do that airbrush or or just uh normal paintbrush tutorials okay so it's at about a minute and a half And uh, you can't really see you can't really see what's going on inside there, so we are going to have to stop it and and check that out really because um, you know anything could be happening there, nothing. It could just be still complete liquid for all I know. I would imagine that there would be some curing going on and having a look. You can you can kind of see that something's happening. So I'm going to stop it and we're going to check it out. So here we go. So lid's coming off, and let's take a look. And you can see that. It's still very liquidy. Uh, I'll try and get this into a better view, but there is some sort of goop in there, and it's it's actually pretty disgusting. I'm going to grab a glove and I'll see if I can show you. It's like um, it's almost like slime, like plasma from Ghostbusters or something. But what I can see is that the IPA is separated from the the resin, the leftover resin that's that's in there that's been washed off of the previous models, and that it's it is just goop it's literally goop so i would run this through a filter and then yeah sure then it would absolutely be fine with regard to filters um if you are struggling to get like filter papers they're quite pricey actually they're 12.99 on amazon uh, what i found works really really well is a tea strainer just from your local you know you can pick them up in tesco's for like 90p little tea strainer you know you don't need any of these fan dangled um filters from amazon or anything like that just use a tea strainer you know they're disposable 90p you know they'll do they'll do at least a couple of months worth of filtering and you know you can use it to filter your resin um filter your ipa you know absolutely brilliant good old british tea strainer okay that's it that's the uh, mercury plus i like it i think it's good